Hi, I'm Michael Ashford, and I'll be auditioning for the role of Daniel. This is something I wish I could have said. I, um... Even though I can feel God's love for me, always, and, and I feel so full of love, like, there is so much to give. Sometimes I feel lonely. And it hurts when you don't feel others loving you back. Or when you've shown love and just been hurt in return. These are feelings Jesus knew very well. This is something else I wish I could have said. At Divinity School, I read this essay by Dale B. Martin about how there are two words in the New Testament of the Bible that have been translated to mean homosexual. So in the original Greek, these words were arsenokwetes and malakos. Now the first one, arsenokwetes, had been deconstructed etymologically to assume it means men who sleep with men. But the word appears contextually in vice lists that have to do with economic exploitation and not solely sexual transgressions. So the intended meaning perhaps had to do with male sexual exploitation. Uh, and the idea of, of a man becoming subservient to another would have been threatening. Because it would have been viewed as a feminine, and well, because being feminine was associated with being property, it would have been demeaning for a man to be feminized. The second word, malakos, has been translated to broadly mean effeminate. So really, it boils down to a few verses and interpretations that have been shifted with cultural perceptions for 2,000 years. But the Bible actually doesn't condemn being gay. It's only been interpreted that way, and primarily because of its links with femininity. And if there's anything that those in power then and now believe is that to be feminine is to be less than. That position of pastor that I didn't get, uh, I heard that in the meeting of the council, it came up that I was gay. Well, not came up, but it, it, it raised a concern. And even though I was the only candidate, they decided to prolong their search instead of giving me the position. <laughs> the Lutheran Church has been affirming of the ordination of members of the LGBT community since, since 2009. And even now, a decade later, <laughs> some members don't think that, that, that it's appropriate for me to lead. So I must wonder, does my sexuality bother them? Did it bother them? Even a little? Uh, when they say they accept me, now do they really accept all of me? Since you showed me your favorite Atlas Sound Record logos, I can't stop thinking about that image of Bradford with, with that sinkhole in the center of his chest. It reminds me of the void, of, of that empty space inside that even when you think you've achieved something that you deeply desired, it's not enough. It's never enough to fill that hole. And that is our earthly existence. Insatiable desire without fulfillment. Ah, uh, but I believe fulfillment, true wholeness, will be achieved when we're in heaven.